Huge news today is the Knowles pick up a commitment from five-star wide receiver Hakeem Williams. In less than 20 days, Mike Norvell may have just secured his biggest on-field and biggest off-field wins of his career. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. Do us a favor. If you're watching, listening, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, comment, like, give us a goal, Knowles. Give us a Mike got us, whatever you're in the mood for. But we're celebrating today as Florida State picks up a commitment from a five-star wide receiver, a position that they have not recruited super well over the last few years. In fact, had to go pretty deep into the transfer portal this year to fill out that room. We're excited today. Good stuff from Mike Norvell, Coach Dugans, all those involved as Hakeem Williams picks the Knowles over AM, Pitt, Miami, and others. Hey, at the end of this video, I do have a quick nugget that I want to share with you guys, some recruiting scoop that I found out that doesn't have to do with Hakeem, but first we're going to celebrate his commitment, and then we'll talk about that. So stay tuned for the end of the video, and don't miss that nugget. Richie, just a couple of days off this Blake Nicholson commitment, and we've already got another one in the fold. This time, our commitment from Hakeem Williams moves FSU into the top 15 of the 247 recruiting rankings. How you feeling, man? And what a big deal for Mike Norvell to go up against, like you said, Jimbo Fisher, you know, Kirby Smart, you know, Pitt was in play somehow, uh, Miami and the John Ruiz money uh, to go up against all of those guys and beat him. And uh, I love because uh, he was on records this summer stating that he wanted to see how Florida State looked this season, right? Look at the flea flicker at LSU, right? That then the one-handed catch by Pokey, right? Um, Johnny Wilson going off against Louisville. I, I think Mike Norvell has done a great job featuring receivers in his offense this year, hit home runs in the transfer portal. In fact, the transfer portal may be the reason why Hiking Williams is now a Florida State commit. Yeah, huge, huge. Again, I, I don't know when you when you look at the way that Florida State started against Duquesne the way that they beat LSU, went on the road and won a game when they were plagued with injuries at Louisville, picked up commitments from Nicholson, solidified other commitments from guys that they've had in the fold. And now you add in Hakeem Williams to be the cherry on top of that first month. Obviously, we need to go out and take care of business tomorrow against Boston College, but um, a pretty good first month. I, I really don't know how things could have gone much better. I, you know, Maybe if you'd have blown out Louisville and LSU, you'd feel a little better, but whatever, right? Wins are wins. And uh, this is a big one for the Knowles uh, on the recruiting trail to go with the three wins they have on the field so far um, this year. Hakeem Williams is a 6'3", 200-pound wide receiver. He is the number four wide receiver overall in the country, the number five player in the state of Florida, according to the 247 rankings. Again, the Knowles beat out Pitt, Texas A&M, and Miami for his services. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if – you know, I don't know if we're getting a little too much Kool-Aid drink or not, but it's hard not to when you when you have a top 25 player uh, commit to your class. Um, but going up against Jimbo and Miami in the same kind of vein and breath, and I know Pitt's there as well, but I never really thought they were serious competition for him. Um, that that feels a little bit different. That's something that we haven't done since Jimbo was here is, is go up against the big dogs, or the perceived powers in recruiting and find a way to get a win. Uh, is this Mike Norvell kind of establishing himself or announcing himself or what, what, what's your takeaway there for the future? I, I'd stop a little short of that, but it, I think it goes to show, you know, he, he kind of did what he did said he was going to do in recruiting Heike Williams said, Hey, you know, come visit us, check us out, wait till the season starts, see what we look like, see if this is an offense that you could fit in. And I, I think uh, things could not have played out better the way that the passing game was featured against LSU. Um, you know, the way that a backup quarterback came in and had success throwing the ball against Louisville. I think a lot of those things come into play and uh, yeah, it's, it's a huge win. I need to see a few more until I can say he, he's, you know, in, in that same breath of a Jimbo, of a Kirby, of a Saban, of a Dabo, you know, he, he's, he's definitely not there yet, but this is a big win and uh, I'll give him even more praise if we get a signature in December, because this recruitment, <laughs> I have a feeling is far from over teams will not stop coming at him. Like you said, a top 25 national recruit, 
there is zero chance that AM, Bama, Georgia, Pitt, Miami, they're all going to keep coming for him. And, you know, you just hope that relationship pays off and you get that signature in December. Yeah, I think it would be massive for Florida State to get him on campus at least two or three more times before signing day, get him in for a couple of games unofficially, get him in um, before early signing day officially. I think that's kind of the plan and what Brendan Sinone of Knowles 247 has reported. So if they can capitalize on that, I won't give you all the details on when he was planning on it. So you can go, you can go over there and read his report on it. Um, but uh, if they can capitalize that and they get him on t- on campus three more times and the season can continue to progress the way we want it to get some guys healthy, keep winning games. I think that could be really, really big. But uh, the other big takeaway from this is obviously you want to sign him and, and it would be, a huge letdown if you didn't, if you had a, a five-star committed back-to-back years and then didn't end up signing them. So that is the goal. Like, you, you've got to get a signature. But I will say, elite players want to play with elite players. And at the very minimum here, they're going to be a different caliber guy that steps on campus for visits that, you know, because Hiking Williams is committed. Because people want – kids want to play with elite players – and they don't want to be the only one to go. So, again, massive, massive job, massive win for Mike Norvell and the team uh, to get this commitment. And now, like you said, it's about holding on, right? Uh, what are we, October, November, December? We're three months away from early signing day. I think it's three months from Wednesday. It's on the 21st this year. So let's just get there. Let's get to Christmas. Let's get let's get them signed in and locked in. And uh, I think we'll all be happy with that. Uh, mentioned a quick nugget and then Richie, if you have anything else, we'll get out of here, but, uh, mentioned a quick nugget. I have, it has been told to me that Florida state may have another pretty large prospect that they're working on for an unofficial visit for this wake game. Again, there's a lot of guys that are on campus for this BC game. Those have all been reported and announced this visitor for the weight game is not 100% confirmed. It hasn't been reported anywhere, but just don't be don't be shocked if there's a, a – it's not Hakeem, a pretty huge visitor that's on campus for Wake. As soon as we have confirmation on that, we'll kind of reveal who that is, but just know that there are more fireworks kind of in the works and in store for, uh, for FSU coming up here soon. So stay tuned on that. Richie, you got anything before we get out of here? No, just a, a great win. You know, uh, shout out Ron Dukins. You know, he's got a lot of heat from this fan base over the years. Uh, what he's done with these transfers and by landing Hakeem, I think he's uh, showing it. You know, we, we made the right decision sticking it out with him. I like it. I like it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the comments. Let us know your thoughts. We will be back to talk about BC, win, loss, draw, whatever, tomorrow night. And then on Sunday, thank you guys for hanging out. There's a live video going on probably right now or just before you watch this as well where we talk to some fans about Hakeem's commitment. Go check that out as well. We appreciate you guys for hanging out. Go Knowles.